Today I got a question from Spencer who's getting to this position essentially. He's trying to attack that Kimura, can't break the sucker out, and so he's looking for some options off this position. So if you've ever been in a position kind of similar to this, maybe from half guard or sort of an open guard, where you've got this uh, Kimura lock set, and you've got the leg here maybe trying to attack but it's not working, I'm going to show you a couple of arm lock options that I've used in competition that have been effective for me and hopefully they're useful to you as well. Spencer's getting this Kimura here, right? And from what I was looking at from the picture, he's getting this leg over top and he's trying to pull this out, right? But he can't. So he's looking for that course of action on what to do. So let's get into it. So a couple things, Spencer, this is me. Like at this point, if I really can't quite get that Kimura going, my favorite option off this is some sort of arm lock. Now I'm gonna show you two different arm bar variations that you can use and maybe these will work for you. So the first one, is I'm gonna take this foot and I'm gonna put it inside. Now back in the day, I used to do this arm bar. I would try to just finish it on my forehead here and extend, which I found to be pretty difficult. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little adjustment. So I've got this foot in already. Turn this way, Adam. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to my shoulder and I wanna get my foot right on, like my shin right across his head. And then from there, I'm gonna come right back into the arm bar. And now I'm in a, a sort of a, what I call a corkscrew position. From here I can begin to extend and finish, or most likely what he's gonna do is he's gonna roll. Boom. And I can stay with it and finish there. We get into the Kimura, I throw the leg over, come up, and shoot right back into position, and then begin to extend, and again, he'll probably roll. Now, the other variation will be the opposite. So instead of going shin across the face, we're gonna put the shin across the body here. So, this one, Spencer, another one to try. We get here, your leg, in the picture, your leg was already over. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna come up, and I'm gonna bring my knee through, and shoot extend just like that very simple both of these it's like the same movement you just can decide on which arm bar you want to go for so this one we're here in the position i'm getting ready to go over instead of taking the foot and putting it in we're putting the shit in by coming up to our shoulder pushing in and then from here rolling through and extending just like that and again, if you may not be able to see it, it's a little hard. When you're going for that position, I've got that Kimura, what I'm doing to get up onto my shoulder is I'm pushing on my bottom leg to come up. Okay, that's the way that I'm, like my body's coming up to that, that shoulder position. I'm pushing off of my leg and my shoulder there to come up to the side. So whether you do the foot in or the shin in, either one is an option for you. But the next time you find yourself in that Kimura position, try one of those arm bars out and hopefully it helps you. I've finished a couple of matches in competition with those uh, as a black belt and uh, so hopefully those are useful to you. I'm finished. Adam? Adam.